Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views. In this video, we're talking about iOS 11.4. So a few days ago, Apple released iOS 11.3 to the public and it was a great update. I know a lot of people were mad because Apple didn't add iMessage on iCloud and also AirPlay 2 on the final release of iOS 11.3. But overall, it was a great update. It runs very smooth and also the battery life, it's really amazing. And then Apple released iOS 11.4 beta one, and it's bad, it's not good. I know it's a beta, but is a .4 update. Going from iOS 11.3 to iOS 11.4 beta one, it's really terrible. And here's what I'm talking about. Here is a picture that I tweeted a few days ago while my device was on iOS 11.3 beta 6. And you can see right here the battery life usage, seven hours, 27 minutes. And I had a standby time of 23 hours, a little more than 23 hours. And that was real amazing, a great battery life. And then going from iOS 11.3 to iOS 11.4 beta 1, you can see the battery life right here. So I got six hours and 10 minutes and also a little more than 17 hours of standby. But you can see right here the usage, a huge decrease here on the usage, about one hour and 20 minutes less battery life with iOS 11.4 beta one. I know it's a beta, I know it's beta one, but it's a 0.4 update which should be really smooth way faster performance and also way better battery life than the previous releases of iOS 11.3. This is not a beta, an initial beta of iOS 11.1 or iOS 11.0.1. This is 0.4 and it should have a way better battery life. I hope really Apple will go ahead and improve this battery life of iOS 11.4 because it's really terrible. It's a just a huge downgrade from iOS 11.3 going to iOS 11.4, the battery life will be way worse. And this will be different based on different devices, of course. So what I wanna say to you guys is don't update to iOS 11.4 beta one. Hopefully Apple will improve the battery life with the next few betas and with the final release. If you have already gone ahead and updated to iOS 11.4 beta one and you wanna go back to iOS 11.3, then you can of course downgrade without losing any data. I will have a video linked right down below in the description of the video, which will show you how to do that process, how to downgrade without losing any of your data. So if you're on iOS 11.4 beta one and you regret updating, you can downgrade easily right now. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Just a quick information video telling you about this bad battery performance from iOS 11.4 beta one, so don't update yet. Just wait for the next betas or maybe even for the final release. That's it, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys on the next one.